The countdown is on to tonight's historic Mega Millions drawing. At five, we gave you the long odds of winning the $1.6 billion jackpot. And now, new at six, Action News Jack's Ben Becker reports that a winner has to decide whether they want the lump sum or the annuity. I'm here at the Dunn Food Store where people are looking to buy that lucky $1.6 billion ticket for tonight's Mega Millions drawing. Now, earlier today, I spoke to a financial planner who told me the billion dollar question you have to ask yourself Mega Millions and Mega Possibilities. Do you have the winning numbers? Yeah, I've got them. What would you do with the money if you won? Oh. I would buy me a nice home. The Mega Millions jackpot has grown to a massive $1.6 billion, but all that money could create more problems. The first thing I tell them is to do nothing. John Castle is a managing partner at Paragon Wealth Strategies. He says if you win, you need to put together a team of an attorney, a CPA, and a financial planner that you trust before you decide on taking a lump sum or the annuity. If you find more value in having opportunity for growth and leaving a lot of money for future generations in your family, you'd probably want to go with the lump sum. Castle adds if you're bad with your money, you're better off with the annuity. This is how it all breaks down. If you choose an annuity after federal taxes, you receive about $40.5 million per year for 30 years. If you choose the cash option after federal taxes, you get $694 million in your pocket. Eric Felder says his decision will be to get paid in full. I want my money right now. It is all about the Benjamins. Now, if you do choose to wait and get the annuity and you pass away, lottery officials tell me you can leave it to a beneficiary. Experts recommend a trust that can then disperse the money as you wish. Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.